W O C A. Twenty-five minutes before eleven o'clock, Joe Reichel is in the studio. It's ready. He's ready for us to uh, bring to you the show called Damage Control, named appropriately enough after the company that Joe started. Uh, it's called Damage Control Services, and he's on the air to help you with your repair questions. Maybe you've got a do-it-yourself type of a project, and you just need a little advice. That's okay to call and ask those kind of questions. In fact, we encourage that. We also encourage you to find a professional if you need help, and then Joe can help you with that as well. How you doing, Joe? I'm wonderful. Good. Let me just make sure I'm, okay. I'm not giving you any headroom there. Now you have a better headroom. Now I, now I have headroom. So uh, January 1st is the... June. Uh, or June 1st. Uh-huh. Thank you. Can't catch me up to date here. <laughs> uh, June 1st is the uh, first day of hurricane season. Right, right. So, uh, you know, the the analogy, you know, they're, they're expecting a uh, rather mild hurricane season. Right. Which, you know, I hope and, and all of us hope that that is the case. But, uh, you know, the analogy that I was using this morning and talking to somebody is uh, uh, since we're in the middle of baseball season, all it takes is one good pitch and you've got a home run. So all it takes is one storm, wow. one, of these, uh, one of these storms to hit us and we have a, a serious disaster. So, you know, encouraging homeowners to, to be prepared, to be ready for this, you know, this the season that we're, oh, he looked away, hey buddy. <laughs> little, little, little guy outside the studio here. But um, encouraging homeowners to be prepared. And, and if a homeowner has questions about how to prepare their home, call me. We'll set up a, a meeting with them, go out there and... Do you know, and, I have a question about that, actually. Okay. okay, so this morning there was this uh, news release that came from the Department of Business and Professional Regulation warning people that in the event of a, of damage from storms, right? make sure you have a licensed uh, contractor that's working with you. Yes. Out-of-state out of licenses don't count, they say. And, and also they say that uh, when the governor declares a state of emergency... Somebody without a license is charged m- more str- stringently. It's a misdemeanor if there's no state of emergency. If there is a state of emergency, it becomes a third degree felony. Okay. So obviously, it goes without saying get get somebody who's licensed by the state. But what about the preventive things? Do we need? A, do you need a license? Like, do I need to get a licensed contractor to do preventive things before the storm? Well, it depends what you want to have done, and and you know, let's just say you want to get. You know, hurricane shutters installed. Um, you know, you always want to have someone that's licensed and insured do work on your home. So you think, right? I mean, that's that's just protects you. You know, it protects you as a homeowner. You know, verifying that you're getting a a, a better verification that you're going to hopefully get a job well done. Yeah. You know how I felt bad. And for that's it. where too. You know, as far as paying for services that aren't rendered. It's typical to collect a deposit, but not 100% in advance. Okay. So well, that's good advice too. You know, sometimes it's 50% of the job or, you know, but never, never, never pay 100% up front to get work done. So, and I didn't and then it don't pay if you're not happy for it. Yeah. I mean, uh, pay once it's taken care of, yeah, but yeah, yeah. If, if the work is not done to your satisfaction, give that person the opportunity to fix it the uh first of all the phone number is 622-9622 if you would like to call don't don't hesitate you are welcome to call interrupt whatever i might be saying that's i'm not here really to ask questions as much as you are um but but i do have this this observation that i felt sorry in that report for the guy or, or girl who happens to be let's say florida has a terrible hurricane come through and some contractor up in Georgia, he's qualified, he's licensed, and he comes to Florida and says, oh, gosh, let me go help out. So he innocently is breaking the law yes. without realizing it. That, I feel sorry for that guy because he's not meaning any harm. He's really trying to help. Well, most of the time, contractors know whether their license is valid or not oh, okay. in the states so. that they 
you know where they're where they're doing work and and if you're if you're doing that work you need to know uh, whether your license and you know your insurance will cover whatever type of work you're doing you know for example uh, in in our industry we need to be insured differently if we're handling uh, chemicals uh, and and we do that sometimes you know a lot of times for the uh, for like mold removal so you know different types of things that we do different types of services that we offer we need to be insured differently than just a contractor mm-hmm. or ju- you know just a guy doing work well that would be so good yeah you want to make sure that the people that you have doing work for you are insured right and right. that's you know a lot of times whenever these storms happen uh, you get these companies that will flood the area uh, coming from all over and sometimes they're even working uh, you know contractors from out of state or out of the area will be working with contractors in the area or working for them uh, to help out and that's a whole different situation but at the same time you want to make sure that you know you know like and trust the person get references from them get you know talk to people that they've that have done work for them you know, with them in the past, or that right. they've right. they've worked for. Is there something? Look up, look up on the internet. Search their company. Yeah, get get do your background check. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is is there something to prevent a roof from being blown off of a house? Is there are there straps you can put on there or something? Well, there's all kinds of truss anchors and and whatnot. Whenever a, a home is installed, and and sometimes or when a home's built, and sometimes you know, like even uh, wind. Uh, wind mitigation reports and things like that you can check and you know your insurance when you get your insurance you know read redone uh, they'll have to have an inspection done to make sure that you know your home's installed properly that the straps are all there and and whatnot so uh, all of the bracing the the engineering is what they call that in the trusses is done correctly so if it's not done you know that's what holds the roof all together. Right, right. All of that extra wood. It's not just the trusses that go up there and sit down, and hold it down. So. So is there is there a red flag date, so to speak, where you can say, well, what year was your house built, and um, then you can say, well, you maybe need to get well, a check. Well, I mean, there's different codes that you know the, the <coughs> that homes changed. were. Yeah, you know, the codes changed. 2010, the building codes changed, and now they're getting ready to change again. But I'm not sure what they're, uh, what will be affected with the the roofing and whatnot. Mm. But. Um, I mean, pretty much anybody, you know, you can have a, a home inspector come out and check your home and, and let you know if, if things are, are in good repair or, you know, get up in. They'll get up in and look at the roof and check things out. So right. they can tell you if things are, are fastened down properly. Um, the, the, the bad part about that is it's, it's very difficult to retro go in and, and do more without taking, taking apart quite a bit. But it can be done. The, uh, the, the the removal of uh, if a tree falls on your house. Yes. Are you required to have a licensed person for that, or can you just get you and your neighbors? Can you get the tree off your house, or uh, you can do whatever work you want on your home. Oh, in your own home, you're okay. Okay. So that whole license thing only applies to anybody but, you hire. But one, well, and then if your neighbor comes over and he gets hurt. Oh, then. You're in trouble. Well, I mean, somebody's got to, you know, let's just say your neighbor comes over and, and he gets hurt and he doesn't have life insurance or he doesn't have health insurance. Right, right, right. And he falls off your roof and breaks his leg. Your homeowner's insurance has to, you know, you, you, you're you the one paying for so that. So ultimately it's best to just wait till somebody who well, knows what they're doing gets there. and. I I always recommend getting someone that is paid to do that kind of work and yeah. your insurance is going to pay for that to be done if you have homeowners insurance there it's going to pay to get that work taken care of uh we'll take a little break and we'll be right back if you have a question for joe the number is six two two nine six two two and if you have a question and you want to talk to joe at his <coughs> own phone what's your phone number my phone number is three five two eight one seven six five seven four and hello clint lewis angie lewis state farm <laughs> is he listening he texted me and said i hear you <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll take a little break and we'll be right back with joe the number here again six two two nine six two two Brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. 
Variable cloudiness today with a couple of showers and heavy thunderstorms in the area. The high 82 to 86. There'll be a shower and thunderstorm around early tonight, then partly cloudy later tonight, though 65 to 69. For tomorrow, clouds and breaks of sun with a couple of showers and thunderstorms. The high 84 to 88. Thursday, partly sunny with a shower and thunderstorm or two, high 86 to 90. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. The most trusted name in news. Fox News. Every half hour. Only on 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. The Source. W-O-C-A. All right, 12 minutes before 11 o'clock. Joe Reichel is here from Damage Control Services. Your questions are an important part of the show, so if you have a question, go ahead and call 622-9622. Learning a little bit about the licensing necessary from that article that came out this mm-hmm. morning. And, you know, the interesting thing is, while we didn't feel it yesterday here, not too far, I mean, just down in Lake County, they were having some severe wind and uh, et cetera. Well, any of these pop-up storms that we get uh, this time of the year with uh, the rain, you know, come in, it could end up with a storm and knock some trees down. We've yeah. had a couple of them. Yeah, and, and the trees, I guess, is always one of the <coughs> first things that's, that you notice, right? Cause right. They, uh, let's go to the phone. Good morning. You're on the air with Joe. Hey, good morning, Joe. Good um, morning. I just wanted to say, if any of the listeners are out there, I know you were talking about hurricanes and hurricane um, um, preparing and things like that, but as far as their insurance, um, there's a form that uh, they can uh, inquire, uh, get from a home uh, inspector called the wind mitigation form that can save hundreds and hundreds of dollars if their home meets uh, certain uh, um, criteria regarding how um, the trusses are mounted to the to the to the to the um, if they're either tied down or if there's hurricane clips. Uh, also, if their roof was put on after a certain year, they can get South Florida building code uh, discounts, and it can save hundreds and hundreds of dollars on their homeowner's insurance. So, Joe, I'm sure you know about the wind mitigation form. And yep. I don't know if that's uh, beneficial to explain to you. Well, yeah, we, we, were, we briefly talked about that this morning. How would be the best place for, or how would they go about getting that form? Any, well, I shouldn't say any, because most home inspectors can can uh, provide the form, and all you have to do is Google <coughs> or um, it, um, uh, uh, wind mitigation forms. Okay. Ocala, and I'll bet there will probably be 20 inspectors that will pop up. And the form usually costs $75 to 100 
but on average, I think you save maybe three three hundred dollars a year on the average home uh, if they qualify for all the credits. And you know, in three years, that's nine hundred bucks off your homeowner's insurance. So it's I think it's well worth. Well, that's, I I know you know. And I mentioned that I know lots of uh, home inspectors and and insurance people, and they've mentioned that very same thing as far as uh, saving clients and you know hmm. money uh, over the course of the year because of having that those things taken care of. I have some carriers because the value of the premium is so high, it's, it's up there so high, they save $1,000 a year by doing the form. Uh, I had a, somebody that, just, I mean, her home wasn't real high, I mean, it was nice value, it was 200 and some thousand, but it was out in um, in the outskirting, outlying areas, so their premium was really high, they saved seven, $800, you know, by wow. just filling out that form. And now that's 2100 in three years. <laughs> Very so nice. Really anybody that has a home built, I think it's prior to 2001, really needs to investigate that. Would this be something that they'd want to ask their insurance agent about? Definitely. Call your insurance agent and ask them if they could benefit by the wind mitigation form. And a lot of agents have people they uh, can refer them to. Exactly. They would have home inspectors that they work with that are able to, right. to take care of this. Right. Yeah, I have a couple that I refer out all the time. So there, that is, any agent should probably have somebody they trust and know, you know. Oh, yeah. And somebody that's able to take care of this. I know some roofers are, are qualified to fill out those forms, too. but Only if they're licensed contractors. Right, right. They can't, I mean, they have, to have, they have to be a general contractor. They can't just be a, a roofer. Right. Just the uh, insurance companies won't take it. You're, you're right. Uh, yeah. They have to, but a lot of roofers are licensed contractors, so that's, you just have to make sure of that. And the new form has to have pictures. The old form, all they had to do is document. So this, whoever does it has to go up in the attic, take pictures, measure the length of the nails, prove that there are hurricane clips or straps. So it's a pretty detailed form now, but it's well worth investigating for any homeowner. Well, and especially, you know, most home inspections, you know, cost you, or I don't know about wind mitt, but a home inspection, you can get some of them for, you know, $99. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, yeah. it's well, well worth having that. 75 to 100 dollars Right. Well worth having that done. I use charges 100 but he does such a great job. I, I don't mind referring them, you know. But, right. Um, there are, but there are less. They did, there are some that do them for 75 well, I'm glad that you mentioned that about, you know, talking to your insurance agent. And that's something that, too, you know, make sure you're meeting with your insurance agent. I'm, I'm sure you encourage this, too. Meet with your insurance agent. Make sure that you, you do have the coverages uh, that, that your assets are covered uh, in case of a disaster so that you're taken care of. Well, and another thing, I'm glad you said that because there are a lot of companies out there that will allow you to take a $500 hurricane deductible. Whereas if you have a $200,000 home, you're probably sitting with a $4,000 deductible right now. But for just not that much difference in premium, some carriers will let you reduce it down to 500 or 1,000. Wow. So it's good to talk to them and just ask that because uh, I got a lot of customers that have $500 deductibles and they're gonna be pretty happy when if a big storm comes by and you know they don't have a $10,000 deductible. Well, insurance is a, is a wonderful thing. We hope that we never have to use it, but uh, in the event you know that you do have to use it, it's much better to pay, yeah. you only have to pay $500 to get everything covered versus having to pay the, the 2,500 or whatever it is. Right, right. So, well, thank you so much. I, I've enjoyed listening to your show. Thank you. Appreciate you calling. You're welcome. Bye now. Bye now. Wow. And, and that, that mitigation form she was talking about sounds like a, mm -hmm. it was almost like a guide of what you need to do to, to make it fortified, to fortify the whole thing. Well, and, and that verifies that, that your home is built and able to yeah. better withstand these these situations. So Wow. So I guess the insurance company just needs it documented that it's mm -hmm. strong and they're willing to come down on the price. Well, document that it's built the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, current building codes and, and like she said the the right nails are used the right strapping is used so once all of that you know it follows the engineering that's required once all of that's done then you're able to qualify for wow what a lifesaver that would be if you had your roof lifted off and all you have to do is pay five hundred dollars out of pocket exactly wow you know and that's the thing people don't you know you don't think about that but you know a hurricane comes through and let's just say it doesn't take the whole roof off, but it's taking shingles off. Once it takes shingles off the roof, you've got water coming in your house. You have now you have uh, exterior damage and interior damage. 
you know, in the the roof or the the you know your trusses, everything's still there, but right, you're missing right, shingles. Right. So, um, you know that that in itself is going to cost you quite a bit of money to get those repairs made. So then, in the event that you know you do have sections of your roof come off, right. you know it's even more damage. Or a tree blows over and falls in and busts the roof up. Good show. This is a show for the archives. I mean, this is something to listen to again. Share with your friends and family. And that's the thing, you know, going along with that. If, you know, meet, you know, these are things that you can do. You can call your insurance agent now. Call them ahead of time. Make sure that you're, that you're covered the best that you can. Make sure that, you know, if you're uh, uh, eligible for the wind mitigation uh, find out what your deductible is, uh, like she was saying. That stuff you can do ahead of time to be prepared, as well as give us a call. We'll come out and take a look at your house, see if there's you know just some suggestions that we can make uh, in order to help you. We were I was looking at a house the other day, and you know all glass on one side of the house, and you know the way you know they had a bunch of stuff out there. If a storm comes up they would all of that stuff is likely to be blown into the home so you know just by cleaning up some things and and preparing making yourself a little better prepared you could Hmm. uh, save yourself damage in the in the future how did the project go that you told us about last week with the the, uh, sliding glass door and the swimming pool it is done i've got to post some pictures of it it looks really really good Nice. That was a, uh, a window and a sliding glass door. We took uh, took both of them out and we installed a 16 foot sliding glass door uh, between the two. I um, had to do some uh, termite damage. There was some termite damage in the wood. Right, we had right. to replace some of that and and uh, put the siding all back on. And it looks really good. Wow! wow. So I'm re- they, I'm happy with it. Um, our guys are happy with the work and the homeowners most importantly the homeowners are are very excited about it and it's turned out really nice so so getting back to the hurricane preparedness <clears throat> yes the, the the things you put on the windows that you can you store this wood back in the shed or something and then like a like a storm shutter or something like that they, they make pre-manufactured things that you can put up or uh, we've got some homeowners that have plywood. It's just a, a piece of plywood that's cut to the windows, right, right, right. and they store them in the garage, or you know, stack them in their garage, or in a shed somewhere. And you know, in the event that something happens, they're able to install them rather quickly. And yeah. we've got clients that are on a yearly contract with us, and in the event that a storm is heading this way, if they give us um, I think it's a 48 hour notice. We can come out, install them, and then after the storm passes, we come back out and take them down. Yeah. And, and and as far as the 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 mild prediction of of the hurricane season, uh, I know there are examples. I think Hurricane Andrew is an example of a year that they they made that same prediction. So well, there's we have yeah Andrew's one of them. I forget what they are, but you know all of them. But there's several years that we've had just one hurricane that's hit that would be horrible yeah and like i said it just takes one and, and sometimes the years in fact many of the years where they say that it's going to be a really bad year they were right but none of them hit us right so all of the storms i think all the storms last year just went up the, the middle of the atlantic ocean right never even came this way fortunately that's that's the best case scenario yeah yeah just kind of go off of course the kids in bermuda get affected by right that, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, you know, there again, it only takes one to hit us, and, and we're in a lot of trouble. So be prepared now. That's your that's your best option. And, uh, and and I guess the other takeaway message from today is to talk to your insurance agent. That seems, yes. like, a, that seems like a good one. Mm-hmm. Right. Make sure you have a licensed contractor. Licensed contractor. If you don't have one, then uh, I can recommend one. And you can one. always check that on myfloridalicense.com. That's the website you can right. go to check... Uh, licensing. Right, absolutely. Uh, and what is your phone number? My phone number is 352-817-6574, or you can reach me at joe at Damage Florida, all spelled out, damageflorida.com. Thank you, Joe. Boy, it went fast. It did go fast. Yeah. Fastest half hour of my week. Yeah, share this recording with somebody. Somebody will be... I'll be posting it on my... Uh, my Facebook page once it's shared on the WOCA page and then we'll uh, yeah share it good job good job thank you Joe thank you we'll be right back 
Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. Senators are considering...